All right, welcome back. Today we are going to talk about fuel in Sunken Land. And I'm going to go over a variety of the aspects of it. So right here we have the large generator. So if you come in here, you go to your lightning bolt, you have large generator, and then you have small generators. What you're going to start with, this is what you're going to upgrade to. There is maybe a bug, and maybe it was unintentional wording, where this description under large generator, large generators which generate electricity more efficiently and consume less fuel than smaller generators. That is false, unless my game happens to be bugged different than yours. They consume the exact same. So if I come down here and I turn on this turret, this turret is going to use normally 0 0.005, right now it uses 0 0.002. If I were to unplug that, plug it into that one, and then move all the solar panels over to it, it would consume 0 0.002. There is no difference between them. I have on mine the solar panels. So each of these, for three of them, we are getting 20% reduction each to the consumption. So normally a single turret right there, which is here in this, it's automated machine gun turret, Normally, this consumes 0 0.005 liters per second each. But I have 60% savings because I have three of these at 20% each. I had the wind turbine to start with. I can no longer connect it because I already have three connected to the generator. You have a maximum of three per generator. Whether it's a small generator, whether it's the big one, it doesn't make any difference. You can only have three items on it for a maximum 60% reduction. There have been a few tests by myself and others that potentially suggests 50% is actually the cap, but there has been another recent test, and that one alludes to 60% being the actual cap. So take that with a grain of salt. I also want to talk about this boat. We come in here to the ships. Marine Fast Boat. Everybody wants this because it has a huge storage chest and it's super fast. Also holds a lot of people. Great for co-op. There is a problem with this boat. It consumes 0 0.3 liters of fuel per second. Every single second. So if you're traveling, I'm here at Three Barrel Island. Maybe you want to come up here to the power plant. A little bit less so down here. Going to the power plant is going to consume nearly 4 liters of fuel. And that's if I just take one boat. If me and my buddy both take our boats, that's 7.5, 7.6 gal or liters of fuel just to get there. And then that all the way back. We're not going to find 15 liters of fuel on that place, even though that does have a fair bit of fuel on it. So I want to talk next about how we are doing our fuel. Let's get in here and close that just in case we get raided. So you have essentially two options. What we are going to use is the biofuel plant. Here it is, biofuel lab. So making it from organics. Now this has changed in the current update. It no longer stacks it in there to 10 like it used to. It only crafts two at a time, but it does it really quickly. So this is one option. I use the cabbage here, and you can see that six of them plants very nicely six of them gives me a little bit of extra the worms whatever but you can use that extra to do your bird traps for example I'm gonna stock it up right now and then I'm gonna show you a different option so this requires it says 100 and you get 10 each but it stops at 99 requiring you to do one more it actually takes 12 I think that's an oversight by the devs I think it's supposed to actually take 10 but it is what it is. So it also requires wood. We just have some wood here. The second option, which I think is better, are these down here. So in your cooking, you have underwater planting pot. With the exception of rope, it's all very cheap stuff. And these guys grow like crazy. Now, I just pulled them out to, for this demonstration. But again, you want six. Each time you pull these, you're going to get three so you replant it with one, you'll have two remaining, that gives you 12. But you also have the chance to get things like crabs, scallops, etc. So you can get some extra bonus from it. You're going to come in here and you're going to pick it. So you're going to watch this. While it should take 10, because it's 10 each, it's 
it's nine each, actually. Well, that explains the 99. This is actually very quick, but I'm going to show you that it only gives you two. So, unlike how we used to do the biofuel, which was super efficient, you would put it all in there and it would stack up, but it would just stay in there to 10, and then you needed a container to pull it out and go stick it in your thing. That was great. So it's already done, but we only get two things of gas. Those two things of gas are literally, for the ship for example, you get one unit of gas. For the generators, you get five units of gas. A little bit hard to explain that, but we'll come over here, and I get one. A, by using one bit barrel, one gas container, I get one. I'll look at my bag, and I'm out. If I, I'll do this other one real quick, and I'll show you on the generator. All right, so now we have our two cans. We're gonna come over here. Since the one up top is basically full, I'm gonna use this one. So we have five right now. 10 and 15. Use the two gallons. So you get five units of fuel for the generators. You get one unit of fuel for the boats. The last thing I wanna talk about are the solar panels. So the solar panels require quartz and they require titanium strip. Titanium strip is Anatis. You're going to find it Clifton Outpost. It's this right here, Anatis. You're also going to find it at Metal Mine, Anatis. Then, if you want, last bit is at Radio Island. I just did this, so I don't know if it's responded. It has. So, Quartz is at Radio Island. I have not found Quartz anywhere else. And some folks are saying Dreadville has titanium vanities, but I've never seen it there. So you know, pick and choose. So re just remember Clifton Outpost and Metal Mine for your titanium and Radio Island for your quartz. The rest of the stuff, you know where to get all of that. Solar panels are very expensive. You will also need this guy right here in order to create... Do I have any left to make? I don't. To create your titanium strip, you need this jobby right here. So this is a tier four, I believe. Electrolytic furnace. So you're not only gonna need that, you also have to have the heavy machinery workbench because you gotta make these two over here, which is this. So you gotta be able to make these, but you also need this because you gotta be, you gotta be able to make that is steel furnace. So it, it's a lot. It's a whole heap and lot to get to the solar panels. The wind turbine is not as bad, although 10 iron ingots isn't fun, but the wind turbines only give you 10%. So three of these, 30% reduction, three of these, 60% reduction. It is definitely worth it once you get to that level. All right, thanks for watching everybody.